Is it time? Come on then. Oh, I've got to plant these tomorrow today too. Lots of jobs to do today, haven't we, Diggy? Right. Let's set up. We are on day 13, Digger. Day 13, at least day 13. No, it can't be over there. 23. There's day 13. It looks big. Oh, this stuff's nice. I do like this. It's all very exciting, isn't it, Digger? Oh, I suppose it's time for your breakfast, mate. And we're going to do some cleaning. <laughs> oh. Alrighty. Digger and I are going on our first walk down the road. He's got his poop bag. Yep, come on then. We've got some treats as well. Good morning, everybody. Just making sure no one's watching me. So Digger and I just went for a walk. Now, just so you know, he's not neglected, but it's just that most of the time he's with Evan, and when Evan takes him to work, he takes him for a run around the speedway track. And then he just spends all day running around doing stuff while he's there. But, and then the last holidays I was quite unwell, so I didn't manage to start a routine of walking. So what I really wanted to do was be able to um, train him to walk with a lead and to follow those sort of commands. I set this truck go past. It's a logging truck. Using your air brakes. Right. Um, so he did really well. Uh, I think. I need to double check. I'll, I'll write down up here what the distance is to the um, corner down the end of our road. And we probably did, hang on, let me check now. Okay, so what was I saying? So we went as far as, so I figured it out. I, I thought I was right, but I didn't want to exaggerate. It's so loud out here this morning. From our place to the end of the road is 1.044 kilometres. So it's just over a 2k round trip there and back. Even, oh, even, Digger and I walked 400 metres and then turned and then back. So we did 800 metres. He, um, he did so well but you could see he was very uncomfortable he didn't know he was like am I supposed to be out here <laughs> you know he's always very cautious of his surroundings and and when we did get back to the gate he was so excited to get back in the property so I'm just gonna I'm teaching him healing not healing <laughs> but how to heal sit to cross the road um, end up just all those sort of things to continue walking when I say and, and all the rest of it so I had a little pocket full of treats 
and I think he did really well. But um, I thought, well, we won't push it too far, and then tomorrow we'll go a little bit further and a little bit further, and yeah, as he becomes more comfortable, and then that can be our morning routine. And by the time it gets to winter time, when it's darker, I'll actually feel more comfortable walking in the dark because I'll have him as protection. <laughs> I've got a high-vis vest, so it's okay. Um, yeah, so that's what we did. That, it was great. You guys would have seen the thunderstorm. I tried to speed some bits up so you could see how the sky was changing, but it was pretty spectacular. Apparently, one of our friends, um, their house got hit and they, they managed to catch it on video. <laughs> quite funny but they lost a few appliances a few years ago we had a whole lot of year eight students at school so we go from year nine to year 13 so the year eights had come from the intermediate schools as a like a orientation day before they start the following year and it was november november's usually when we get thunderstorms here and um Oh, luckily we had the kids inside, but um, lightning struck the school and it struck my light, my library. And there was an old telecommunications system in my office and that sparked and oh, it was a bit crazy. And then that made the fire alarms go off and teachers were like, oh, well, do we evacuate or not? And I said, no, you're not taking the kids out on the field when there's a thunderstorm happening because they'll get struck by lightning. Use your common sense. And, and that was the right call, apparently. Far out. We knew that it was going off because we'd been struck by lightning. It wasn't that the, the building was on fire. Well, it could have been, but it wasn't. So I've just sat here and I've written a little list. I've got um, some jobs to do today. I don't think we'll go out today. I think today will be just a potter around, a reset. I've spent the last couple of days doing bugger all because I kept thinking, ah, I'm off work on Wednesday. <laughs> so, you know, dishes, washing, vacuuming, tidying, that kind of thing. And I need to do some business paperwork and I need to go online. I need to do some measuring of my armchair. I've got the upholstery fabric for that. And I've, I've got a video that I'm gonna use as a guide on YouTube on how to upholster it or reupholster it. Um, but there's a few things that I need to order from a certain place. So I'm gonna do that today. And change the sheets because they were supposed to be done on the weekend, but I haven't done them yet. And yuck. Nobody likes dirty sheets, so that's it. Now, if I talk to you any longer right now, that's just me procrastinating and not wanting to do my work. I'm going to finish this coffee first. Enjoy the little bit of sunshine coming through. It's a beautiful day today. And... I will touch base a little bit later. Hello. I'll just get out of the way of the music before I get copyrighted. <laughs> so I've done all the paperwork I need I need to do today. And I've done all the dishes. So that's two things crossed off my list. And I've potted up the little bargain annuals that I bought the other day. I am absolutely full of allergies. Allergies. Full of hay fever. Um, so I took my tablet this morning, but I've just um, also used some antihistamine nasal spray and some eye drops. <laughs> So I'm just going to hang some washing out, put another load on, and then I want to plant the dahlias in that front garden, tidy up on the driveway, move all the green waste from the front to the back, 
and then I can focus on the back so yeah and I've just had a shower I feel a lot fresher now um, yeah so we'll do that okay dokily right about to plant the dahlias in here but you can see over here how did we end up with an egg in here that must have been from when oh that's obviously been in there for ages oh look oh it's stinky i think we'll just throw that in here so that the dog doesn't get it that would have been ages ago when we first when the chips first started laying <laughs> diggers obviously found it i've just thrown it in there I knew that they would have been laying the odd egg in here when I first realised. But anyway, um, I need to get right in here now and dig up the rest of the kaikuya before I do that. Otherwise, I'm just going to end up with a jumble of weeds with my plants. Oh, look, here's a strawberry. Oh, oh, something's been nibbling it. Some rubber. Right, I'm gonna to listen to a podcast now. Ooh. I say that all the time, don't I? Um, I've done as much as I can digging for the dahlias, but I'm so irritated. I'm my face is itchy, my eyes are itchy, my nose keeps running, my nose is itchy. I need to come inside until things settle down. So I did as much weeding as I could and I planted the dahlias but I haven't actually had breakfast and it's 11 o'clock so I'm just gonna cook some bacon and eggs and one piece of toast stack them and it'll be like a brunch that'll be my lunch as well and then I can focus on some other bits oh can you see how oh, I just want to scratch my nose off Oh, Digger's back inside. He just follows me. He's like a little shadow. Right, anyway, I'm going to do that. Okay. It's really boring today, guys. Boring. I'm still stuffed up. I'm still itchy. <laughs> I've watched a couple of um, vlogmases. <clears throat> I don't know about you guys, but when you get, if you get hay fever, do you get really tired? I get really tired, like real heavy behind the eyes. But I just wanted to do something, so I made um, a cake. <laughs> uh, it's the cake that um, I've made it before, a couple of times before actually. Paula from Stitch by Mrs. D, I'll link her podcast below. I'd say most of you already know who she is. She's, she's the best, she's so funny. She talked about it, so I had a go. So basically, what I do is I decide I'm going to use four eggs. I crack them into a bowl and weigh them. Um, so today my number was 212 grams. And then I weighed out 212 grams of sugar, 212 grams of butter, 212 grams of self-raising flour and mix it all together i don't use self-raising flour so i just um added the required amount of baking powder and i also added some red food coloring and some raspberry essence because i felt like red velvet cake but it didn't really work that well because i was afraid to use too much s um coloring and it's now pink so anyway this is what it looks like you'll have to excuse it because i picked a bit out of the top to taste it so i'm going to have a slice of that and there's bits of paper and that digger's torn up in the lounge so i'm going to have a little tidy up in there 
And I'm just going to keep resting. I'm knitting at the moment and I'm watching Kelly of Roro and Kate's and watching her day 12 of Vlogmas. So yeah. Yum. And this is my rather fluorescent looking pink. <laughs> now it'll be nice as dessert tonight. Right. I'm going to watch the rest of this. Fingers crossed. If it isn't, it's because. Good afternoon. Not much has happened here this afternoon. It's called to five. And all I have done since the last time I recorded is knit, sleep, watch a documentary, knit, sleep, watch a documentary, knit, sleep, watch a documentary. I was so wiped out with that, with the hay fever attack. I'm still very burny but not to the point I was I now have to pick up about 20 gazillion tissues <laughs> but I just went and checked the mail and oh thank god for that I've got replacement mohair <laughs> I'm knitting the um I just trimmed up my nail while I'm talking to you. Um, I'm doing a test knit for Melinda of Mint Knitwear um, for her Mola sweater. Um, and yeah, I've done the majority of the body. I've just got to finish the body and then start the sleeves. A digger. Digger ate. He got into my wool warehouse bag and ate most of the mohair. <laughs> he tore it apart and tried to salvage it, but I knew I wasn't going to have enough. So I just ordered heaps because I can always use it for something else. So I'm glad I got that because I was a bit worried that ordering it from the UK, it was going to take a while to get here, especially with Christmas. Christmas postage, but I got there, so thank you, warehouse. Oh, I feel rotten. But that's nothing new, is it? Right, let's have a look at this. And I got the latest. I subscribed to this magazine for a year. I don't think I'll do it again, but it's okay. It's just not as exciting as I thought it might be so I've got that as well so I've got to do some of the jobs that I said I was going to do well actually I've done nearly everything on my list for today um but I need to just finish doing that little pick up and tidy up in the lounge I tell you what I was lying here on the couch I was dozing and I had the front door open, back door open, and the side ranch slider open. And I woke up and I was like, oh, I'm cold. And it was really noisy. I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. There was so much wind outside. The wind chimes were going for it. Stuff was just going everywhere. It was almost like a mini tornado had happened. So I shut that and I shut the back door and that's when my symptoms sort of eased a little bit because it's all very well coming inside but if you've got all your doors and windows open your allergens are all coming around so something's flat something i'm always really affected at christmas time so something's flowering i still don't really know what i'm allergic to um yeah you have to excuse me i'm i just feel tired But that's okay. 
because I'm going to have a quick tidy up. I still haven't even decided what to have for tea, and as you guys know, I hate choosing what to have for tea. Um, yeah. So yay, yay for Mo here. I'm going to hide that away from puppy. <laughs> yeah to say i was um a little bit upset would be an understatement but yeah i've got it so that's okay oh excuse me i'm burping like you won't believe right i'll catch you a bit later well look at this I went outside to sort the washing out that had blown everywhere. And I thought, oh, I better go and check the berries. Most of these are raspberries. There's a couple of strawberries. I'm going to freeze most of these because I want to freeze as many as I can before Christmas. For, you know, different Christmassy things, dishes. And there will still be some fresh ones to eat as well by them but yeah yummy right i'll go and freeze them except for the strawberries i'm gonna eat those i interrupt your viewing now <laughs> for this announcement now i've got um some chopped up root vegetables and some courgette and garlic all cooking in the air fryer i'm gonna make Freaker salad and we'll have that with the chicken kebabs on sticks starting to feel a little bit better now um i've literally just sat down to knit and i'm just watching caitlin from hartley's handmade and her little boy linton is sick and he might have the rona poor little thing so this is me Hi, Linton. I hope you're feeling better soon, buddy. Poor wee mite. What is that mummy's digger? Is that mummy's dinner? What's daddy doing to you, digger? Hello. <laughs> look happy <laughs> where's daddy going no he's gone oh. 